you can't be that oblivious. Helen Keller would know that something is up. Let's go. What's good? What's poppin'? It's your boy Denzel Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. Are you poppin'? Because I know I am. Okay. I am back with another video. Yes, and as you guys can see by this title, a bitch will be driving. I haven't done a drive with me in a long, periodically time, and I just feel like it's due. You know what I mean? It's not energy really like more up. It's because I just got my edges laid, and bitch, you know I've been looking rough. Okay. I was over here trying to grow this beard, and it's just not cute. So I'm back to me. Hello. I'm gonna sit here, not sit here, I'm gonna drive, well sit here and drive, talk about shit that's happening, put my two cents, cause y'all love when I put my two cents, even though sometimes it's not need to a bitch, I said what I said, I meant what I said, I said I meant, period. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Oof, it's too hot, it's too hot. Hey darling, if this is your first time seeing my face and knowing my existence, please. Ooh, ooh. Hey darling, if this is your first time seeing my face and knowing my existence, please click that subscribe yeah. button, subscribe, 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 that helps me a lot. If you, if you, yes you, if you are watching this video right now, stop this video, give it a big fat yeah! Thumbs up. Without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Show it all. But we're gonna turn this AC up. For some reason, LA is hot as Satan's balls up in here. I'm a bit parched right now. Okay, so let me tell you something. Last night I had a housewarming, I didn't really post it on public but I feel like all my other friends did had a house swimming it was cute I don't like bitches over my house because you know I just don't like people up in my space but it was very nice I was very happy that I did that and that's it on that and that's the first and last time I ever do something at my house <laughs> okay I am very parched by the way very very parched before I get into what I want to talk to don't know what this title is going to be but I know it has something to do with relationships because y'all love when I talk about relationships and y'all like Denzel what's the 411 like the last time I heard from you you just told us, like, you did what Bong said, like, why are you not in a relationship? So, like, what's, like, what's the T? What's the T, sis? What's the 411? And I'm here to let you know that. Why is that dog lying on the floor like that? Before I do that, I'm very thirsty. Hmm. Do that. Hmm. 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 Okay. Before I get to what I want to get to, my mouth is very dry. I've been having nothing but saliva. That's what I've been sipping on, my saliva. I had my vegan protein shake earlier, but I'm not even going to the gym today because my legs hurt. I did a split, I pulled my hamstrings, and that that's it, and it's been a week, and the shit still hurts, so I think I may have to go get it checked out. And then also, I woke up this morning feeling really sick, but I'm at Chick-fil-A, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a minute. Hello. Hello, can I have a large Arnold Palmer? And then, oh, I'm feeling skinny. Can I have a eight count? Also, can I have a food cup too? Take your food and pick this thing. Oh, oh, you scared me, I thought my car was declined. No, no, your car's good. Oh, okay, I'm like, ooh, it's efficient, but it's sweetie. Never felt that emotion. But hey y'all, I got my Chick-fil-A. I don't really eat Chick-fil-A like that. Now let me tell y'all something. My meal plan is from Monday through Friday. Yeah, on Saturday and Sunday, I usually just go to this um, this nutrition place and just get like meal plans from there. But seeing how I had a house on me last night and I had a lot of vegan, not, not only really plant-based, I had plant-based ribs, plant-based uh, mac and cheese. Everything was plant-based, vegan mac and cheese, everything was cute, it was good. I had too much to eat last night. It's really sickening me and it's paining me because this may be TMI, but usually when I eat out of my meal plan, I shit right after. It's been since then and I haven't shit. And I'm really worried because I still feel bloated. Like usually when I'm bloated, I shit right away, like the way my my body is moving now. Like if I eat something that my body's just not used to because I haven't really ate plant-based plant food in a long time, I shit, but I didn't shit, and I need to shit. This video, I want to talk about relationships because you guys love when I talk about relationships. I don't know why a bitch has ever been in one, but I can give you a lot of insight about one, right? Uh, wow, it's always the lonely people giving advice. Y'all be asking me, am I in a relationship? No. Do I want to be in a relationship? Mm -mm. I, that, that's, I don't know when that's ever gonna change. I don't really feel like I need to be in a relationship, but I'm at the stage now where I don't want to be in a relationship, but I want to do relationship things. If that makes sense. Not even like friends with benefits, because I don't like the word benefits, because I feel like benefits just mean sex. I want to be with somebody, but not be in a relationship. You, I don't know how to explain it. Like, bitch, okay, I've been alone my whole life, which I'm perfectly fine with, bitch. I love being alone, okay? I am perfectly fine with being alone, right? Thing is, it would be so nice to wake up to somebody once in a while. It would be very nice to take trips with somebody romantically, do cute shit for each other. It would be very cute to do, you know, coupley things but not being a couple. You know what I mean? Like, you're, you're a couple but you're not tied down. I love that. Because, like, we have a mutual understanding. You know, that's what I... 
that, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I would like to have. Is it gonna happen? No, because when I'm crazy, that's the thing too. Like, I don't like to admit, and I do admit it. People know that I'm crazy. Like, we, for you to talk to me, like, if you talk to me, you have courage. That's why whoever talks to me, you really want to talk to me. Like, sweetie, do you know what you're getting yourself into? I'm not an ordinary bitch. I'm a crazy bitch. Okay, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, but crazy in the good way. Not crazy in the bad way. Like, I won't break your shit or, you know, like put bleach on your clothes. That's psychotic. That's like out of your mind. That's nuts. I'm not nuts. I'm just crazy. Crazy as in bitch don't fuck with me. That, that that's just a crazy like that. Cause you fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck with you back even harder. Pause. That came out the wrong way. But I mean, that way too. No, I'm I'm playing. But you know, I am to the point where it would be cute to have somebody to talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And within the talking stage, like, the talking stage is, it's whatever to me. I have patience, but I think it's my patience is running very thin. I'll let you know that right now. My patience is running very thin. As y'all know, I've been in this talking stage. I don't want to call it a talking stage, but we've been talking, but it's not really a stage. I don't really, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And I'm fine with that. Before I was, but now I'm actually fine with that. That makes sense? So, I've been talking to somebody for literally a year and two months. And do I care for getting in a relationship? No, I actually don't. I'm at this point where now I'm like, if I want to be in a relationship, I would have said something before. I, I have, I, I hinted towards it. I didn't hint towards it, but I was just like, I want more. But now I'm at the point where I just honestly, truly don't give a flying f I'm over here doing me, making my coins, trying to better my career, trying to love myself, losing weight, trying to lose more weight, trying to just really focus on myself. So I feel like, when you put the term relationship on something, it just changes a whole different thing. I don't have to. I don't have time to be expecting somebody to do something of expecting, like of me expecting. Because let me tell you something, bitch. I have high standards. I have high expectations. Don't come with me with some bullshit. You feel me? For this to actually be a thing, I, all I, I don't, I don't ever ask for a lot. But it seems like I ask for a lot. I just ask for the most simple, basic shit. Don't lie to me. Tell the truth. Be honest. That's all the same shit. Loyal. Loyal, okay? Let's say if I mess with you, right? We exclusive, but we're not exclusive. I mean, like, we have an understanding. You know what I mean? Like, if you do something, I'm gonna be mad at you, whatever. Let me tell you something. If I'm talking to somebody, and if you go do something, like, let's say if you go do something to somebody else, if you tell me, I honestly won't be upset. I won't give a fuck because you told me. Now, I have to find that out or I asked you and you lied to me in my face. Now, that's an, that, like, that's an issue because, bitch, I already have trust issues. That's number one. And number two, and I don't with liars i don't like that like bitch if i do something i'm gonna let you know and i don't care you know what i mean like i really do respect people who tell me the truth because i love honesty i like honest is the best you can be in it. like you know what i mean so that's what i want it's just so hard to find somebody like that you know and that's just the tea on that says just be honest one big thing is communication because if there's no communication there is nothing okay i've said this before i'm gonna say again if there's no communication i'm so sorry because let me tell you something i could talk to somebody who lives cross country and I don't care. I'm not the type of person that needs to see you and be in your arms every day. I'm really not. I really don't care for it. I really, like, we see each other twice a month or even once a month. I'm fine. Once every two months. I'm fine with that. Once every three months. I'm easy. Bitch, I don't need to be booed up every day. We need to be, because I get tired of people very easily, very fast. Like, I can't be with a bitch all day, every day. I can't. I, can't. I just can't be with somebody all day, every day. It's just not me. Because I just, I get tired. I get annoyed very easily. Like, the most little shit tick me off. And I feel like that's, and that's something I need to change. But just like, that, just little things just really do irk me or tick me off that just turns me off that's the word i don't want to say like irk me it just like turns me off i'm like Ugh. when it comes to relationship that's just pretty much me but let me tell you something what i will say and i will stand for going on i need to be the bitch that's dying i'm tired of paying for stuff i'm tired of always initiating something i'm tired of always putting my card down even though sometimes the thing is i don't have problems with paying for someone but if it's an every time thing that's what we're not gonna do so i need someone who has their own coin who has their own head on their shoulders who doesn't depend on other people because see what i'm not about to do is really i've never really done it before i, I mean i'm nice and that's the thing about me i'm too nice because sometimes i hear people's stories people you know what i mean like i get it i was bitch i remember i was struggling at once okay i was struggling i was so broke but the thing is i was broke at the age now you should be broke i was broke when i was like 12 to like 14 but i feel like in new york 12 to 14 when you're 12 in new york you basically like not basically but like your mindset is grown because new york is all a, it's all like a struggle it's all like you know what i mean i was never pampered bitch if i wanted something i had to go get it myself so i feel like being in new york like just being a new yorker natural new yorkers you know what i mean bitch by the time you six seven you already over here walking to yourself to school or you you understand what i'm saying even six seven four five whatever you already doing your own shit in new york you're very independent so therefore being 12 or 14, it was things that I wanted that I didn't really want to ask my mother for. I knew she would get it for me. Sometimes I don't want to ask my mother for it because, bitch, I want to get it myself. I don't want to depend on my mom, my, for my mom for stuff. You feel me? So just being the way I am, I know how people are. Like, I know when 
people like if you go through stuff that I get it like I, people, I hate when people around me that are like oh I hate when people belittle themselves around me to make me feel good or like, they think it makes me feel good I hate that let me tell you something if you come to me be like oh my god wow I wish I had a nice place like this and, and get the fuck out of my apartment don't like that like I don't like that like oh I, I don't have the money like you I hate shit like that I really don't like that shit like that really do turn me off if you think you're boosting an ego of mine you're actually not I have no problem with talking to somebody who works a regular ass job as long as you can pay for your shit where you are good I don't care what you do okay I don't care normal when I say don't care what you do it needs to be legal bitch I can't be sitting here no 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 it needs to be legal you know what I mean I'm not trying to get a caught up in no case but you know as long as you have a like I don't care what you do like people oh he don't got none of the money da, da, da. I will say it would be nice to get flown out it would be nice to get pampered be put on first class bitch it would be very nice but the thing is if I don't have that I'm not really gonna be mad but I, I'm sorry that's what I do I'm, I'm I'm at the point now bitch we deserve better okay we deserve for you not even to go the extra mile for you to go extra miles meaning you want to get pampered i want to be surprised with nice cute little things it's the little things that matter you don't have to like buy me expensive stuff but it's the thought that counts you know what i mean like we are people we are getting there's little things that we want and shit like it's just the simplest cutest things like oh yeah like i don't even know like oh like if i'm sick like you would just do this or like let's say if like oh i'm allergic to something you remember you can't get it to me it's just the littlest shit like that that we all look for that i feel like we all do enjoy i feel like Sometimes we all need somebody who's rich and I'm like, no, we don't do gold diggers over here because you keep chasing people who have money, but you will never find love, okay? There, let me tell you something. There is nothing sadder than having all the money in the world and not having nobody to share with or spend with or have somebody to... Let me tell you something. That's what I tell you. Just be, Money solves issues. A lot of issues, okay? But let me tell you something. Money does not solve everything, meaning, I'm telling you, you can be so comfortable where you are making the thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, but if you have nobody to... You don't have no love, no connection, bitch. What the fuck do you have? You just have money. Just a old, rich, lonely bitch. Do you want that? No. So, therefore, and now I'm just about my money because I've always been about my money, period. That's just, I've just always been about my money in my career. Blah, blah. But, like I said, it would be nice to, you know, share some of my... I don't want to say share some of my wealth. But, you know, I like doing cute things. I love to surprise people with prizes and stuff. I, but I'm not, you know, I like little cute stuff like that. But I don't, the thing is, when you start depending on shit, that, that's what's the issue. And I feel like it is with all of us. Don't ask me for something that I was already going to get you that I was thinking about getting you. Like, don't hit towards it. Don't, because it's not going to happen. So that's it with relationships and me and all that jizz and all that jazz. And I really do hope that some of y'all can relate. Like, let, like, you know, and I feel like people be ru rushing into relationships. I don't know how you could talk to somebody for two months and just because you talk to them for two months, you get in a relationship. Bitch, I'm so sorry. For me, nine months, we can talk for nine months and we can make this a relationship. Not even. I'm perfectly fine with talking for a year because you know what? You can learn about somebody in a whole year. You just being together. Oh my God, I feel this feeling. Because let me tell you something. That honeymoon phase, when she's out, you see the person's true colors. Oof, nothing is ever the same from the start. From Like, they already got you. It's just now keeping you. If that makes sense. So, yeah, that's just all with relationships. And it's toxic relationships, too. If you feel like you have to argue all the time, like, for it to be a real relationship, toxic is the fuck. Okay? If you are getting lied to, toxic as the fuck. If you're here getting cheated on, bitch. I, she, getting cheated on, I feel like, is the worst thing. Because I'm crazy. The thing is, if I ever get cheated on, oh, my God, I think I'm going to jail. I've said this multiple times. If I've ever cheated on, I just, I don't know what I would do in my life. Because, sweetie. Like, I, I, I don't give nobody a reason. You, there's no reason for you to cheat on anybody, period. If you want to do what you want to do, just let me know. And that's it. Like, I have no problem with you breaking up with me and go cheating on me. And that's it. Because that's just done of us. But don't sit here and come back and lie to me and tell me my face. You know, just little stuff like that. But, yeah. Also, since we're talking about relationships, let's talk about the Ace family, okay? I don't really talk about little stuff. Not little, it's not little. I don't really talk about shit like this, what's going on. Y'all actually talk about Trisha and what's going on YouTube community. Y'all have drama like, and all those people to report facts and talk to you about that for. But now the Ace family, I keep asking about it. I'm the thing is, I've been wanting to say something for a long time. Not really saying something for a long time. It's just not my place to put my two cents, but bitch, when is it ever my place to put the two cents in? Hmm. So I'm gonna speak about it, okay? Now, I don't know. A bitch, I, it's not like I have any receipts or anything or whatever that I can show y'all or pull out. But let me just say something, okay, about the Ace family, that whole situation. And all, many situations that's been out for years and years to come, okay? Because there's some shit that I've seen, but you know, I'm keep on the playground. I just feel like, you know, their business is their business, but when you put your business in front of millions of people, what do you expect? And I just don't understand how you could do something. Don't know if you did it. Allege, allegedly. I don't know you could do something and expect it not to get out just because you have people sign NDAs and stuff. There's a lot of NDAs that go around here in LA. And that's fine. Non-disclosure agreement, whatever. But it's just like, if you sign an NDA, that person won't speak up, but obviously they're going to tell somebody. You have to tell somebody something. And it's just like, we don't know if it's true at all, but I'm sorry. If, if it's just multiple people that keep coming up and they have receipts, like, we just have to look into something. Like, something must be looked into. 
And for Catherine, don't know her personally, don't know her, wish her the best and all. I get it if they were even married and it's like for thick and too thin, but I don't even think they're married, are they? Oh, they are, they're engaged. Oh, well, that throws out that theory. But I just feel like if you keep getting all these things, I'm sure, I'm sure she has receipts and videos and her DMs that she's over here trying to be denial about. Don't know, I'm just sure. I just, just there's just no way. Like, this has been happening for years and months and it's just like girl at one point you just really have to believe it not everybody is lying bitch there is no way 10 to, i don't know how many people i'm just naming numbers this is no way people like okay if you hear it from like cute three four five people but if you keep hearing it constantly and it's always a thing that's brought up in a relationship i really do feel like she it should be looked into and sweetie if you are over here staying or like defending your man i i applaud that but it's like if you know the truth sis don't know if you do but if you do know the truth and you actually have facts if you want to stay in that situation, which is very t toxic or whatever, but I'm not knowing y'all love. But all I'm saying is, I mean, if you want to stay together so y'all can just make the coin, I feel it. But I just feel like in, there's something you have to actually look into some stuff. Like, yeah, they have lawyers and all that. You can have all the money in the world because I just don't believe everybody's lying, bitch. I can't believe everybody's lying. Like, oh, people just decided to. People do make things up. But it's just like when it's been a lot of people and this has been happening this happens like every year there's a scandal but you know what they always get out of it because that, they're just the ace family bitch they just have that power and power to them power to the people whatever but I'm just that's all I have to say about that I just feel like girl like if you don't want to believe it but if you you know what I mean it's like I do get that you want to stand by your man you know to think it thing. I don't know if they got married or I just remember that he did propose I do remember that I don't know if they had a wedding though cause I don't, I don't know but you know what I mean just Girl, like, not everybody can be lying. Like, you at least have to look into something. Like, you can't be that oblivious, bitch. Helen Keller would know, bitch, something is up. This is something to be looked into. And if that's something you want to deal per personally, which probably is, don't know. You know, it's fine, but don't sit here and just defend it or that. Like, I can't, people do be making fake, I, I, for the people who do that, and we need to make fake allegations and shit like that. Lock them up and put them in jail if they are fake. And for the ones that who are real, because they just, I don't know, I believe personally, don't know how, I'm just saying, allegedly, that some things may be true. Not maybe all the way true, but if it's not 10, 15, it has to be at least one. You should, come on. Come on. But that's pretty much it with that. And it's just so sad too because all the things are happening and then, you know, they still post on social media like nothing's happening, which is fine because if you do post like nothing's happening, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's still with the situation. That's how I feel. Like, at least, girl, like, you just can't be that, like, girl, you can't be that oblivious. Like, sis, wake up. Smell the coffee. Smell the tea. Sip it. Drink it. In a month or so, not even two, three weeks off. This already dying down. Two, three weeks. The Ace family. Well, they're not, they're not will be back. They already post. Happy and beloved videos to all of you guys to share because you guys believe that everybody is perfect and nothing is wrong and that everyone's lying. I, mean, I don't know how some people just be some brainwash, but that's the tea on that. Not even the tea, that's just my take on that. But yeah, now back to relationships. If you are in a relationship or a situation ship and people are giving you tea and there's receipts, and obviously receipts can be fake, but there's video, there's audio, or sometimes, or you see like screen recordings, sis, take that into consideration. Some people be so brave like, no, they would never, but, but they did, bitch. The fuck? They did. Now it's time for you to do what you have to do. And whether you leave that situation or you want to stay in that situation and look like a damn fool, fine. Their, their relationship, the reason why it's so different is business and millions of dollars involved. Just like sis. My like, girl, I mean, I made all that money, but it's like, it's a business, you know what I mean? It's a family. Because I'm pretty sure another baby is coming on the way. I feel like the babies are scheduled, but you know what? Let me shut up. Anyways, well, yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for driving with me. I didn't even eat my Chick-fil-A, but I mean, this is not a mukbang, so I'm driving to the gym right now, so yeah, I'm gonna go have a nice, cute workout or whatever, and do what I do best. That was it for this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like to like, comment, subscribe, 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 and like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't, I post. So watch, and until then, see you later, my darlings. Bye! Toodaloo! Mwah!